Hi there, Geeky Dad back again. Now, I don't like throwing any electronics if, uh, if they can be reused. Uh, this is a tile that's uh, used to find your wallet, which I lose all the time. Um, it's not a replaceable battery. And I reused it to make this a little Bluetooth tracker for whatever the hell I like. I'm going to stick it in my own car. So if you like the idea of repurposing um, electronics and not putting them into the junk pile, stick back and relax and watch the video. Well, I use a lot of tile trackers and this one in particular is a full up for a wallet and it's a slim line. I also have another one for my keys. Now the difference between this one and the one for my keys is this one does not have a replaceable battery. And um, this is new, um, or newish. It's been sitting in my wallet for a few months. And the one that I had before ran out, and I kept it just in case to see what can I do with it. Can I reuse it for anything? And I, um, I did split it apart. This is the old one. And there was a proprietary battery here with, which had a stamp saying that it's a three volt um, battery source. and. Thought I will. Maybe I can. I can use this for something, um, and try and keep the clicky button and and the speaker intact as well. This speaker just has a loose ribbon cable, and with pressure, it just stays on. And here are the terminals. On the right is the positive, and the left is the negative. And what I bought a cup um, for a couple bucks today is this uh, AAA double battery pack so together with two batteries it will make it three volts and I was thinking uh you know if I forget where I park my car maybe I can have this sit in the boot and use it as a as my car tracker so um I'll try wire this up see if it works and if it does see if I can uh get a case for it and use it as a use it in my car all right Here's the journey, it starts from here. Alrighty, well I have just uh, taped the speaker on at the moment and it's uh, not secure, but that will need to be secure at some stage. And I soldered the positive and the negative to the battery pack. And I checked the tile up and it's connected and the speaker works, so I can find the device and shows the last known location as well. And that's the main thing over the next step. Well, here's a 3D printed box, which I modeled myself for the first time. Never 3D modeled anything. It is nothing special. It is purely just a box with a sliding lid and it's sort of friction fit. Um, this is version one. I really don't know if I'm gonna do a version two or version three. I just wanted a quick video, uh, unlike my last one for the Pi booth, the photo booth. I'll link that somewhere if you're interested. That one took forever. That was a massive build, but this is just something done in a few hours. So what I have here is a box, which is about 66 mil by 41 by 26. Dimensions uh, allowed for a sort of three millimeter, millimeter wall. Um, yeah, some considerations that I could have made to make it better, I could have uh, sort of made a thinner area here to then do a, a pressure press for the button. Um, at the moment, it's, I've just drilled a hole to allow for uh, a pin. Could have done some prettier holes there with a 3D printer, so it's more symmetrical. Um, other options that you want to, you might want to use, you can use a button cell, a three volt button cell, rather than uh, two triple A's or two double A's will even work. Um, could have a section for an integrated magnet if you want to stick it somewhere in the car on the interior. Um, but what I'm going to probably do is just stick some Velcro and put in the upholstery in the, uh, in the boot of the car. Uh, you can even make a cylinder version if you like and stick it in, in, a, in a bike in the poles on the inside. That way you can sort of have an anti-theft device for your bike. But anyway, what I did here is I um, just 
hot glued the whole thing. <laughs> There's nothing uh, too hard about it. I sort of placed the circuitry on the inside. I um, uh, put a light through, like just a, shone a torch through, just to see whereabouts the button was. Um, and I drilled a hole, and then I tested it uh, with uh, with a pin before gluing it all together. So this uh, closes nicely. Uh, and uh, last consideration is that uh, this is PLA. Whether this will last in the boot of my car, I really doubt it. It might warp. Actually, it probably will warp. And I might have to hack this lid, <laughs> lid off just to get all the uh, circuitry out. So um, I'm only new to 3D printing, so um, I don't have any other materials at the moment. But this will do for now. I'll test it. Um, if I ever lose my car and I do use it, I'll stick something in the comments. But uh, that's all for now. Uh, like, subscribe, hit that ding-a-ling, and uh, might see you for the next one. Bye.